All right, YouTube, we are back with another video. This is Chef G checking in. Um, today we're making, um, of course, today's Taco Tuesday. So we're doing a taco-inspired meal for today. So we're going to be doing flautas today. And flautas are just a rolled taco that's filled with meat and cheeses. Um, you can use flour tortillas or corn tortillas. It's totally up to you. I'm going to use flour today to make mine. Um, I'm going to make three different kinds. I have a um, shredded chicken, a shredded beef, and a ground beef um, for um, my flautas today. So I'm going to show you my um, ingredients. I have all my meat already cooked, um, seasoned. I just use um, taco seasoning for my ground beef as well as my um, shredded chicken. My um, shredded beef, I actually cooked that in my um, pressure cooker with some cumin, oregano, salt, black pepper, and paprika, and some sliced onions, and let it cook until it was nice and fork tender and pulled apart very easily. Okay? So this is what we're going to have. We have our tortillas, our flour tortillas. Get any brain that you want. Totally up to you. You can use corn if you like. I'm going to use flour tonight. Okay? The cheese that I'm going to use tonight is a Mexican cheese. Okay? It's um, Kakik, is I guess just how it's just, you say, or Atsika, is the cheese. It's a really good melting cheese, good for like nachos and stuff. So I wanted a real nice melty cheese for my flautas tonight. You can use any kind you want. You can do a Mexican blend, um, store brand, or um, craft cheese. Or you can use the cheddar cheese if you just like cheddar. If you want to do mozzarella, you can do mozzarella. But I chose to use that Mexican cheese today. Okay? So what we're going to fill our flautas with tonight, this is our shredded beef. If you guys can see that. This is shredded beef that cooked in my pressure cooker with cumin, onions, oh, garlic, salt, black pepper, um and paprika and oregano okay I also have my shredded chicken okay I just um, these are chicken tenderloins I boil those or um, actually simmer them because if you simmer chicken you get a better result and it won't be tough so we do a nice slow simmer on your chicken and I added taco seasoning to that okay also, within my um, flautas, um, I'm going to do a vegetarian flauta as well. It's a black bean, corn, um, onion, and I add a little bit of cumin, salt, and um, some salsa to this. I might even put some in with my chicken, but you can use this as a vegetarian option if you were doing a vegetarian um, um, flauta. Okay, and you maybe could throw some sweet potato in there with it. Um, we'll work great with that. And the last thing I'm going to add in, if you guys can see, is my ground beef. Okay, this is just some ground beef with a little bit of onions, bell pepper, seasoned with um, taco seasoning. Okay, real simple. Um, nothing spectacular about that. Okay, let me give me a little bit of drink. Hold on just a second. Okay. Um, I've got my cheese cut up. You guys can see that. I just sliced it into thin strips that I'm going to lay within my flour tortillas. And I got the six inch flour tortillas. If you want to get a larger one and make less and just cut them in half, um, you can do that. Okay. But I've been using a six inch, six inch flour tortilla tonight. All right, let's get to started, guys. Um, so we're going to serve this tonight with some salsa, sour cream, real simple tonight um, on my Taco Tuesday night. And um, I made a little bit of Spanish rice to go on the side as well. Okay, if you need a recipe for the Spanish rice, it's in another video from my last Taco Tuesday when we made, um, I think it was chicken quesadillas and steak quesadillas okay so go check out that video so you can see that 
and how to make a Spanish rice. Very simple to make and turns out really good. I'm going to bake, bake my flothers tonight. I'm not going to fry them. Um, they're usually fried, but I'm going to bake them, do a little bit more healthier. What I'm going to do is put them in my um, oven pan or my baking pan. I'm going to spray this with a little bit of um, pan spray. Okay, because so they won't stick. So you just nice little layer on the bottom is all you need. Okay, as I roll mine, I'll put them in my pan um, for them to go into the oven for I would say about 15, maybe 20 minutes is how long I'll put them in for. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to roll these flotters and the amount of product that you're going to put in. You don't want to put too much into your tortilla because what's going to happen is going to fall out um, during the rolling process okay all right so here we go take you guys down here to my cutting board all right if you guys can see that i have two tortillas lined up on the cutting board the first thing i'm going to start with is um my shredded beef so this is just going to be a shredded beef and cheese um, flauta. Okay. Just enough so you can know there's meat in there, but not too much so that it starts to come out. Okay. You're going to put it right in the middle. And you're going to roll these almost like you're going to be rolling a burrito, but not quite. Okay. You're not going to close in on the ends of the tortilla. So I'm going to put two slices of cheese because I like cheese within my flauta. Okay? Just like that guys. Real simple. If you wanted to add like some fresh cilantro in here or something like that you could. I'm not going to add anything into this. I'm going to let it be with my shredded beef because it's very well seasoned. I've tasted it already guys. And it is really good. Alright, so, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the bottom. I'm going to go about three-fourths of the way up. And then I'm going to tuck it back just a little bit. And that kind of makes my nice roll, okay? And then you're going to finish rolling it just like so, okay? That's flauta number one. When you put it in your pan, you want to make sure that the piece... Or the, a part of the tortilla that has the little flap on it is facing down, okay? And not upward. This helps hold that flauta in place, okay? So I've done two of those. Let's go ahead and do two more. Okay? Real simple, guys. Real simple recipe. Um, I'll put in the description um, what all I put into my shredded beef. I just use like a, a beef roast, put it in my crock pot, well, not my crock pot, but my pressure cooker, and cooked it up with the um, seasonings. And let me tell you, I had this house smelling some kind of good today. Okay, so I'm going to go with two more slices of cheese in each one. Okay. As you notice, each one of my tortillas, I put my um, meat right in the middle. Okay. Make sure you get a nice tuck on it before rolling so they'll be nice and tight. So I have four um, shredded beef tortillas. I'm going to wipe this little juice off my cutting board. Because I'm done with my shredded beef. The next one I'm going to do is a chicken one. Alright. So I'm going to lay out three tortillas this time. Just so for time's sake. Okay. So I have my shredded chicken here. Just going to put it right in the middle. Okay. Just make sure not to overfill. So these are going to be plain chicken and cheese 
And then I'm going to do some with um, chicken and my black bean as well. Okay. I'm going to go with some cheese. Okay. Just like that. Real simple, guys. Simple, simple food tonight because I didn't want to do too much work. Okay? Same idea. Three-fourths of the way. Tuck it under. Finish rolling. Right into my pan. Again. Three-fourths of the way up. Tuck. That means pull back. And then you roll. Into my pan. Three-fourths of the way up. Tuck. Pull it back, that's what that means. And then you finish rolling. Alright. Beautiful, guys. So I have um, three regular chicken um, flautas and now, uh, chicken and cheese. And now I'm going to do three chicken and black bean. Okay. <clears throat> so since I'm putting black bean in this, I'm not going to put as much chicken because I want to put some black beans in there. Okay? If I put too much chicken in there, then I won't have room for my black beans. So we'll go a little bit less on the chicken. And we'll add our black beans in. <clears throat> as well as our cheese. Okay? So black beans and corn is what I'm putting in here. And like I said, it's just some... Um, Canned black beans, some frozen corn, little onion, cumin, salt, and I put some um, salsa in there as well. Okay? I'm going to stick one piece of cheese in there with that. Make sure it's a nice piece. Nice size piece. Okay? So I have three with uh, black bean, chicken, and cheese. Okay? So we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to Three-fourths of the way, tuck, and roll. Just like that. Okay, my technique has not changed on any of them. Okay. And my corn coming out a little bit. We don't want that to happen. We want it to stay in. Okay. So this is my last one with my black bean and chicken okay these are going to cook up real nice and tuck that back into my tortilla <clears throat> I'm going to wipe off my cutting board okay now the next one I'm going to do is my ground beef and cheese okay guys so tortillas So I have three of those. I have my seasoned ground beef. Okay, make sure you don't get too much of the liquid in there. You want it to be fairly dry. So I'm putting two little scoops in each one. Okay, I'm going to go with my cheese. Okay. Alright, so just like that, um, ground beef and cheese. Inside my tortilla, I'm going to do the same rolling technique. If you want it to add into the black beans and the corn, you can do it in that. You can also add it within the um, shredded beef if you like. Um, I only did it in the chicken tonight, um, but it will work well in either of the, any of them um, <clears throat> that you're going to be making. So I'm going to bring you guys back up here 
to see me. I'm gonna adjust you up a little bit. Um, while I finish rolling these, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about um my other video I posted last week for the perfect batch. Okay, make sure you guys go watch the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel for a chance to win the perfect perfect batch hot sauce as well as their twang seasoning, okay? Um, you don't have to purchase it. It's going to be free, so um, it's going to be one winner. But if you feel that you want to purchase some, please go by um, or go on Instagram as well as Facebook and like um, the Perfect Batch Foods page and sign up to get you some Perfect Batch hot sauce as well as the Twang seasoning. Okay, you will not be disappointed, guys. I can't say that enough. <clears throat> um, I ate some. Um, I cooked this morning. I made some grits, eggs, and um, bacon, and I put that hot sauce on top of my um, eggs. And <laughs> what? And can I say, it took it up to another level. That's why you guys need to go get this hot sauce. Okay? Um, so a good friend of mine I went to school with. Um, he's the co-owner of the company. So please go support, guys. Um, I love to um, buy different seasonings and things. Because I'm a chef, of course. I want to try different stuff. Um... And that's what I, I, I love to do. So I'm all about trying and buying um, new products. <clears throat> okay. But please um, just subscribe to the channel. Um, like this video. Share this video. Um, and let me know that you've done that. And go like their page. Okay. And you can be entered in to win a um, Perfect Bat Chop Sauce as well as the Twang Seasoning. Okay. To have at your house so you can enjoy okay so I'm just finishing up these um, flautas that I had um, to get those into the oven for them to bake um, and that's about it guys um, don't forget to like comment subscribe um, to the channel so you can get notifications for when I go live or when I upload a new video. Um, you can follow me on Facebook at Regina Hargett. And you can follow me on Instagram at um, ChefG14 on Instagram. Um, just come by and see what some of the things that I'm doing. Um, doing a lot of cooking doing this. Um, quarantine so why not join me in cooking and if you make something that of a video I sh um, that's on my page share your um photos let me see what you guys come up with let me see what some of the things you guys are making um, if you have any suggestions of some things that you want to see me make um, share those as well so I can see what they are and try to get them up here on this YouTube page for you to see um, this was actually a um, a request by um, a, one of my Facebook friends so I'm doing this video for them so they can see how to make those they probably just wanted me to make them for them to be honest <laughs> a lot of people give you suggestions so you can make them for it for them and they can just enjoy um, and that's not a problem either um, I love to cook um, it's one of my passions as well as my job okay um, but like I said don't forget to like comment subscribe Hit that bell, guys, so you get notifications for when I go live or upload a new video. I'm going to put these in the oven for about 15, 20 minutes, and I'll come back. Well, I'll see you with another video tomorrow. Um, I'm not, not sure what I'm making yet, but stay tuned and um, get on the, um, the subscribe. Hit the, the subscribe button so you can get notifications, guys. Okay? I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Chef G checking out. Peace.